Hi, I'm Danny Cable from dannycablephotography.co.uk. Today I want to do an unboxing video, maybe my first and only one, of the Low Pro Pro Runner BP450 All Weather 2. Right, that's enough chit chatting. Let's go on with opening the box and see what we've got. Well, there's not much to say about the packaging. Bit of cardboard. The bag. No cover on the bag of any kind. Well, there's some giant bubble wrap. And not a lot of that. So let's get rid of that out of the way. Oh, another little bit of what it was worth. There's my receipt. There was a serious lot, lack of packaging, I must say. Um, and I'm not impressed that the bag's not even got a cover on it and there's now got little bits of cardboard everywhere. So, stand the bag up. Right, I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to take the bag out and get, clear up some of this rubbish. Right, now all the rubbish is gone, we carry on with having a look at the case. It came with some bumps about it, about the case itself on the top, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go over the case and tell you my opinion, and we'll go from now. I'll start at the front, work away all the way around the outside, and we'll go into the main compartments, and we'll finish off inside the, the main body. Right, as you'd expect from Low Pro, good quality, nice feel to it. So um, nice and solid, and not overly heavy for a backpack, which is a good thing for me. On the front here, you've got two pockets with a slightly different material and a bit of a pattern going on, a bit of a squarish pattern going on. Um, two straps. You can see the lug, the zip for the main. The front section uh, is fairly solid with little ties on it and the availability to actually have it locked. So all good and well there. Two adjustable straps for your tripod to be carried on the front. A little space here for your tripod pouch which is going to support the legs of your, your tripod so these straps ain't carrying the weight of it. It's actually pulling through to the feet so it's being supported from underneath. Right, on this side you've got another strap which is going to help with um, attaching it to a, a trolley case of some sort. A little elastic coated pocket. I don't know what the visible card window is for, but I dare say we'll find something to go in it. Space here for another accessory pack to go on the outside of the case. On the back. Right, the main bit. Just some nice heavy duty, fairly dense shoulder straps. On the shoulder straps, you've got the usual chest strap, which is uh, fully adjustable and it even slides up and down. It's got some sort of weird way of doing it instead of being on, the, on a strap with a buckle, which is its usual, the old school way. It's on some sort of piping and slides up and down nice and smoothly as well. I don't know if you can take it off, but if you take it off I dare say I might break it, so I'm, I'm not going to try it. Again, the strap's adjustable. It's elasticated on one side and adjustable on the other. Alright, let's move down to the waist strap. Again, same density foam that you've got up here on the shoulder straps. Plenty of it. Nice and heavy, feels really solid. Should take plenty of the weight off your shoulders if you want it, if you feel like using this. Um, again, adjustable on both sides so you can keep the buckle in the middle or, or wherever you want it. I know this the waist belt does come out somehow, um, but it doesn't want to slide out. So you know, have a quick look. No. Ah, 
got Velcro on the bag side of it so it won't twist and you can't even take it out. Right, let's try this. That's better. Yeah, it is. It's got a, a pla little rigid plastic bit. It feels like going all the way around the outside. And two strips of Velcro, which are going inside, attach underneath the lumbar support, which is which is a good thing because obviously it won't twist round on you then when you're trying to move, run around with the case on your back. Right, throw that out of the way and do this. Right, padding on the back of the bag. Shoulder side or rib side, you've got some nice, he not heavy, heavy, but heavy enough to support on your back. And your lumbar support looks nice and firm, but without being over firm, if that makes sense. Underneath the lumbar support, you've got the, the usual low pro bit with the, the low pro cover attached so you can't lose it. So, I'm not going to worry about showing you about that. I'll show you that at the end with it on the bag. But for now, I'm just going to go around the outside fairly quickly. If I can. Nothing on the bottom, apart from it looks to be like a waterproof case, a waterproof panel. So you're not going to ingest water into your, in your case while it's sat on a, on a damp floor. I don't know that I'd trust it on a wet floor without the cover being on it, but keep your gear fairly dry on a damp floor. Right, on the side we've got two more accessory straps for external pouches and another strap for your trolley bag. So these, these two will attach to each other at the back of the case so you can just hook it around your trolley handle. On the side of the bag we've got another handle for carrying obviously side on. Not too big but nice and firm again be fairly solid and work well strapped, well stitched into the liners of the bag. Let me take this gump off the top and we'll actually have a top look at the top. Again, same handle as what's on the side, nice and solid, well stitched in, they shouldn't have any issues with that. We've got a little zip compartment here at the top behind the handle and the in, in front of the back piece. It's showing a tripod strap. Right, I know what it's for. Slide it through underneath the handle and if you feel like your tripod's a bit top heavy then you can take the strap out and actually attach the top bit as well. So you've got then three straps, one, two and three. And obviously the feet are going to be in the pouch at the bottom. So there shouldn't be any issues with uh, your tripods of any kind. Now let's throw that away again. Right, that's the outside of the bag done. I'll we'll start with the, the front compartment now. All the zips, in fact, are heavy duty. The two main compartments are lockable, so you can stick your own locks on them if you want to. If you feel the need. And, uh, me personally, I won't be leaving that anywhere where I'm going to feel the need to leave it locked. Right, inside the front compartment, you've got one, two, and four pockets. Back pocket on the on the here is meant for a laptop. I, I believe it's supposed to take up to a 15-inch laptop. Um, next pocket down is a tablet. And then underneath, you've got a mesh pocket for cables, I suppose, if you want to carry cables or chargers for your iPads or your laptop or anything like that. The padding in between each layer isn't massive, but it's probably, well, it's more than enough to protect, probably as thick as an average magazine. On the front, you've got another pocket goes all the way to the bottom of the front flat. Um, I have seen this demoed by Low Pro, so I know it will take a whack and tablet in there with leaving the, the space lid open. So not much else to say about that. Nice finish again. 
Nice working zip, no, no problems out. A little bit of elastic, elastic to cover the end of the zip, so if you do have anything in here that you're worried about getting scratched, you won't get hit by anything. Alright, let's do the main section now. The bit that I've been waiting to see. I'm hoping you have too. Right, inside the main section we've got three organiser pockets on the front flap. Two that go the whole width. We've got plastic lining so they're not mesh there and no plate no plastic with like reinforcement stitched in here. For holding all sorts of bits and pieces, remote controls, accessory cables, whatnot. On the top Top here, you've got space for some elasticated pockets for SD cards or CF cards. Again, you've got all the protection on the end of the zips, so nothing that'll be in your main compartment can be scratched by the zip heads at all. Which is a good idea. Right, main compartment. Oh. We've got the bag. That should have been on the outside of the bag. So I don't know why that's inside the case. I'll speak to the shop about that. So I wasn't happy with the packaging. And I don't see why that would be inside the bag when they're normally shipped with a plastic bag on the outside of the case. It does nothing for the bag on the inside. So let's get rid of that. We've got the, the tripod foot. Right, let me show you how this works quickly. If you remember right, we've got the strap available at the bottom underneath the straps for the tripod. So I'm going to assume this is going to go through there and hook all the way back round on itself. Right. When I'm travelling, I use a, a short tripod anyway, a travel tripod, rather than my my normal one that the camera is currently sitting on. So that'll be fine now. I don't think I, I, I probably won't have any need for the top strap because my tripod will barely cover the top, come to the top of the case. But yeah, that fits nice and firm. It's fairly stiff, but it does bend. It's wide enough, and with the straps there, I can't see there being any issues at all. The only thing I'm curious about is why you've got the extra bit of Velcro here and uh, some form of belt loop. This might be for a longer tripod setup. If you feel it, feel it, feed it back through from the bottom to the top and into this belt loop thingamajig, it's sewn into, onto the strap. It is tight and the Velcro wants to stick to the material. So. Right. I don't know if that's correct but it looks good to me. That would give you probably an extra six or seven inches in length if you're using a two section tripod. So then your head will be up here. And if you felt the need, you could actually use that third strap again to hold the head or hold the top of the tripod. But it will flap around, obviously, but once the legs are in there, it won't. Again, it just makes it from there to there, depending on the length of your tripod that you're carrying on the case. All right, let's get back to having a look at that centre section, the main body. Let's put that down there for a minute. Right, back to the main body. Inside you've got this nifty little carry case at the bottom for your accessories or spares or whatever you want to put in there. Again, slightly opaque at the front. Inside you've got a couple of lightly padded pockets. I know what I'll be putting in here. Batteries and um, remotes. 
may be able to get my card boxes in there because I carry my cards in uh, waterproof hard cases. So that'd be ideal. And with the weight at the bottom of the case, that'll help stabilise the case when it's sitting on the floor. But yeah, great idea though, bro. Have that little case, little accessory case at the bottom there. Sort the stuff out. You've got your normal elastic strap for you keeping the long lens on the body. There's plenty of dividers here for separating stuff. I probably won't need as many of these, but it's nice to have the option to put little bits in there if you're carrying multiple flashes and multiple lenses and stuff. I like the idea that the main dividers are heavy density foam, which makes great padding for obviously the camera and your lens if, if leaving the lens attached. Give it nice protection for all your accessories. Again, it's all lined with the soft Velcro inside, so you can adjust all these, take them out, put others in. Um, there's enough space for a pro body in now. D4, D5, me, can't use a, a D810 with a camera grip. And even though the camera is now filming me, looking at the two, I can't see there being any issues with height with the battery grip being on now. So all in all, I'm well happy about the case. It looks like it's going to fill all my leads, my needs. What I will do in a second is uh, I'm just going to grab one of my other cases, trolley case. Right, I've got my other case. Now let's have a look to see how these um, side straps attach to each other on the trolley. Let me pull them out and adjust them right out for a minute. Straps look like they're actually going to hook back on themselves, so the adjustment's actually on the inside of the case. So it may make things a little bit awkward, rather than having it on the outside, but then the buckles would be the wrong way around on the, the outside, keep them tidy. It's a bit of a pain. As you just saw, found it easier to adjust the straps. Again, using this chest strap on the bottom will help secure the bottom of the case from going anywhere else. But yeah, seems easy enough. Quite secure. And it's ready to go. Job done. I hope you found my review of this case helpful and may help you choose whether it's the right case for you or not. This was the Low Pro Pro Runner BP450 AW2. Please subscribe to the channel. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. As I say, I'm just about to take this case away on holiday for a couple of weeks. So maybe two or three weeks before I can get back to you. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching.